Hi, I'm Robbie Blackwell with the Robbie Blackwell Golf Academy at the Robert Trent Jones Capitol Hill Golf Course in Prattville, Alabama. We are here on the number one hole of the Judge Course. Uh, there are three 18-hole courses out here. We have the Judge, the Senator, and the Legislator. The Judge is known for its first hole here, uh, playing alongside the Alabama River that you can see in the background. Uh, we've got a 400-yard par four with a, with a big elevation uh, going downhill. So we're going to be hitting hitting downhill, and as you can see, uh, with this hole, it, it starts to tighten up the farther you hit the ball. So, so I want to pick a club here that's going to hit me to the to the wide part of the green, it, or to the wide part of the fairway. It may leave me a longer club in, but I, it gives me a, a good chance of hitting the fairway, which is going to be the most important thing on this shot. And so, make sure you pick a club that gets you in the fairway, and, and then tackle the next shot from here. So. We're going to see what we can do on this hole. Um, again, I said it's a 400 yard, 400 yard hole, so I'm picking my three iron. Kind of try to aim it right at the 150 post um, in the fairway and, and try to hit it pretty close to that. I should be able to get, get right around that distance. All right, so I'm, I'm here about 158 yards, just past the 150 yard marker. The, the hole is located on the back portion of this green. And so I, long of the hole, you can see kind of drops off. There's the Alabama River back there, so you, you don't want to go too long. And obviously right it also has the river there, so you, you don't want to go right. So you hit a good shot. I've got my uh, six on pitching wedge here. And so I'm gonna just try to hit a good shot back there. If it doesn't get all the way to the hole, I'm fine with it. I just wanna make sure I don't go long. And so I can hit a, a pretty full pitching wedge here and, and try to be aggressive. So I, I may have misclubbed myself a little bit, left myself quite a quite a ways away from the hole. Uh, estimated probably about 50 feet. So here I gotta I gotta go navigate a little bit of a of a slope here, go over the slope. It's gonna start heading downhill as it gets to the hole, and it should be breaking to the right. Uh, generally, the, the undulation goes toward the water. So we got the Alabama River here. Um, most of this green is gonna slope towards the towards the water. So you make sure you allow for that. And that's just a little local knowledge. It's not always 100% fail proof, but uh, generally that's, the, that's gonna be the case. So I'm gonna aim out here to the left. Again, I'm not trying to make this putt. I'm trying to lag it up there so I can leave myself a makeable par putt. Um, so I'm gonna aim it out here to the left, uh, pick a good speed and see if I can get it inside, inside a three foot circle. So I got a, a good three footer here. Uh, a lot of times you may walk up, this would be gimmies in, in a lot of groups. Um, I'm just gonna go through my routine of, of trying to make this putt. Straight forward, back of the cup. Oops. We are here on the seventh hole of the judge and we're now playing from the purple tees, which is a 625 yard par five. We're going to talk about a little bit of course management. I'm going to give you a live look at what I what I do here to, to hit this shot and give you an idea of how, how to uh, how to approach a, a hole when you when you have a, a, a distance of, of 625. So as you can see in the background there, there's a there's water that's in front and goes up to the right side of the hole, and then there's a bunker on the left side. And I, from this tee box, I, I won't be able to reach this bunker and so I can I can aim it at that bunker and give me plenty of room that if I hit the ball a little bit to the right I should be fine so most amateurs when they, when they aim they they have a tendency and they they want to aim aim left or they want to aim right and so you just want to make sure that you pick a good line that you want to hit the ball and play for that tendency um, but you never really want to aim into trouble and so like if I if I hit hit a draw 
I don't want to aim out into that water to play that draw. I'd much rather still aim it at that bunker, hit the draw, and, and take it in the left side of the fairway or, or in the left rough rather than risk hitting it in the water. And so, and so today I'm, I want to hit it, aim it at that bunker, and if it goes straight at that bunker, fine. If it hits a little bit to the right, I'm fine. If it hits a little bit to the left, I'm still, I'm still in good shape. All right, so here I am on the right side of the fairway. I hit a decent drive. I have 368 yards left to the hole. So obviously I cannot get there. I'm just trying to pick a good good club to lay up with. And I picked my three iron. I've got a, a pretty good landing area out here. The water still comes into play on the right side. And I got enough room on the left side. I just have to hit a pretty good, pretty good shot to give myself a, a decent distance in. Uh, to get a good scoring club on it. If, if I miss hit it a little bit, it leaves me a little bit farther back. I still I can still get to the green uh, for my third shot, but it may not be as much of a scoring club. So I uh, want to hit a good one, but it, I've also got a club that if I hit it bad, it still should travel far enough to give me a chance on my third shot. And so I'm gonna aim, aim here. You can see the red 250-yard uh, marker. I'm going to be aiming left at that. Um, hopefully this ball will, will stay left of that, and it's a pretty pretty good line for me to hit. So using my Tor V3 Bushnell rangefinder, I have 156 yards to the flag, and as you can see there, there's a little false front on this green. So I want to make sure I hit a club that's going to get over that false front. Uh, pin is, is located in the, the back center of this green, so I've got plenty of room past that false front. So there's, there's really no excuse for me hitting a club that's, that shouldn't get past there. So uh, for me, it's going to be a, uh, be a pitching wedge. i got a little bit of wind behind me, so I'm going to hit a, a pretty strong pitching wedge. I'm going to land it back there. I don't really want to go over the green as well, so uh, club selection is an important choice. And I got a, just a slight bit of a downhill slope, so I'm going to make sure I, I set up properly for that to, to play that shot. I don't want to set up too, too far behind the golf ball and, and, and swing and hit it and catch it a little thin. I want to make sure I set up properly for that, so I got just a little bit of a downhill slope. So I'm going to get my body a little bit more leaning on my left side. So I left myself about 30 feet here um, underneath the hole. So I've got a good uphill putt at it, meaning I can be a little aggressive. I don't want to get too aggressive and leave myself a three or four footer down the hill. And so I want to I want to pick a good line, pick a good speed, and give myself a chance to make this putt. Um, and oftentimes what I tell the students is 100% of putts that don't make it to the hole don't go in. And so if you're really wanting to be aggressive, you got to get the ball to the hole. It doesn't go to the get to the hole. It's not going to go. In. So uh, keep that in mind when you're when you're hitting these putts uh, and, and how aggressive you you want to be. Uh, so like for this one, I don't want to leave myself a four footer. So I'm not going to be overly aggressive, but I do want to try to make the putt. Um, so I'm gonna pick a good line. Looks like it's going to break to the right just a little bit. It's going slightly uphill. So I'll get a good line, pick a good speed, give it a chance to go. In. So we've made our way to the 12th hole on the judge course. It is a 215 yard par three. Today it's playing 210. Flag's gonna be sh slightly short of, of center of the green. Um, so when you find yourself, and you can see how, how, how this hole, it's, it's all force carry. So you, you hit it short, you're gonna wind up in the, in the water in the Alabama River here. So you wanna make sure you pick enough club that's gonna get you, get you over the, over the, the water and onto the onto the landing area there and if you're chipping if you're putting uh, you're just going to take being safe on the other side so you make sure you pick enough club 
and maybe even go up one club to ensure that you're going to hit it far enough to, to get over on that side. Um, so today I've got I've got my my Strixon Z965 five iron. That's the club I normally hit about 215 yards. Making sure I, I hit it far enough to get there. I'm not going to try to get too cute with it. I'm just going to try to hit it and, and pray that it gets over. hit a, a really good shot here and I'm, I'm very ha happy with it but I've left myself a pretty slick downhill putt and so now I've got to be on the defense here and oftentimes when when a golfer an amateur golfer hits this shot and they're on the green and they have a birdie putt and they're excited they want to make that birdie putt um, but, and then what they do is they hit the ball way too hard going down the hill leave themselves a, a more difficult or a difficult putt coming back and they miss that they three putt and they wind up making bogey when if they if they just played defensively here they give lag it up there pretty close give it a chance to go in but if it doesn't they got a close putt they make it make par and get out of here especially from 210 yards over water that's it's a great par and so and going straight downhill and I've got a got a, a pretty good turn that's going to happen in this putt it's going to start breaking right about here going down to the left so I've got to I've got to allow for that and make sure I select a good speed again I don't want to be overly aggressive I'm gonna let gravity kind of take over and, and let the puck roll down the hill hopefully I make a good jump So coming down the hill, we can tell that it broke a little bit down down the hill, coming down left. I figure, feel like this is going to be more straight, and this slope right here actually looks like it's going to feed it a little bit to the left. And so really easy to misread, and so you want to make sure you pay attention to all your surroundings here. So I'm going to aim this kind of right, right center, right edge, with a good firm pace, and I should be able to make this call. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment with what you would like to see in the future. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook.